Hi friends, I'm just popping on here uh, to do a really quick little flyby video. Oh gosh, okay, yeah, I'm in, I had to look to see if I'm even in frame. I've been just um, mod podging here on this. This is newspaper for somebody that didn't watch maybe my last video. This is my first foray into making um, papers from from newspaper and yeah this was paint and stencils and some uh, bubble wrap and some um, just like little lids into um, my dewdrop memento inks and some glitter nail polish in both silver and gold from the Dollar Tree. And then now today I I put a layer of um, Mod Podge on and wow! I mean it it just it feels so neat. So if you have not tried this ugh, make you dizzy there. If you have not tried painting on newspaper just I just used I thought oh, well we'll see how it goes so I just used a little piece from a what is this the Mississippi market bulletin anyway from he himself yeah I will do more um, I did two Pringles cans and I had saved some ahead and then I so I had some in my in my treasure tub or treasure trove um, where I put all my recyclables that I think might have a second life in some kind of arty project. Anyway, here the other day when I got my straws from uh, from Dollar Tree, then I thought, okay, here, here's another use for a Pringles can. So I think that's what we'll will go on there and then there'll be some extras and so I can do something else with that. And then, I don't know, can you see? This one is still kind of wet. I had a little more Mod Podge in my cottage cheese <laughs> container that I saved those to put paint and stuff in. And um, so I did some more deli wrap or deli paper and then put some of the little squares, the tissue squares, colored tissue squares from the Dollar Tree on here. This is in pink, blue, and purple. So we'll see how that goes. And so that's just all I have for right now. But it just it turned out they turned out so nicely that I thought I should Oh, can you even see that? Let me change this a little bit. There you go. All right. Then I thought I should share those today, and I'll put it in with some other video probably. But okay, friends, I'm back, and I got my my third Pringles can. Let's move this stuff out of the way here. I got my third Pringles can finished. Um, this is. Yeah, this is the one that I talked about, was working on in the first of this video. And um, I ran it through after I, well, first of all, I cut the, cut the paper to size on my trimmer. Then I ran it through my, my cranky, oh, yeah, you can't see my hand, <laughs> I'm gesturing. Um, I was in the wings here. Ran it through my big Xyron, and that was, I have to say, that was a little tricky. Um, if I did that again, I would Mod Podge the back of the, of the newspaper. Because if you weren't really careful, that, the backing might not want to come off the way it, sh it should. 
So, um, but anyway, it, it, it turned out just fine. And let's see. So what did I do then? Put some uh, glitter ribbon. Let's see here. Now that stuff from the Dollar Tree around the top, and I used my used my ATG gun to put that on with, and to hold the uh, end to be sure that it wouldn't come off. I used glossy accents. Then to bling it up a little bit, I used this, let's see here, can I get it around the right way? There we go. I call it mesh bling, but they call it diamond wrap. And it's three, three rows, I cut that apart. So I only wanted to use one on the top and one on the bottom. So um, that I ran through, yeah, ran it through my little Xyron. And just used my bone folder on the back of the bling and, you know, so that the adhesive stuck really well and it's on there. I'm really, I'm really happy how it, how it stuck on that on that glitter ribbon so um, yeah I have one more let's see here yeah you can see them over there I have one more Pringles can for right now let's see if I can change this a little bit okay uh, one more and this one, what's in, what's going in here are, oh, they have these little river rocks from the Dollar Tree too, and the glass pebbles or whatever. And there's another batch of them down in there. So that's a good, good place to put those. So I'm not sure what I will, I will put on that. Probably not this. This is the stuff. Let me go down a little bit. This is this. This is the deli wrap that I was putting the little tissue paper squares on, and now it's dry. And it's it's just really interesting how. The Mod Podge just kind of changes the texture or the feel of things. So this feels almost like a like a plastic tablecloth kind of now. Anyway, I will do something with that, but uh, I am I will collect a few more containers. And uh, a few more things to store. Let's see here. That was the last one, the middle one here. So I, th I had gotten those flowers for my mini albums. And I thought, well, that looks like it will work in that one just fine. So I've got my, my chenille stem storage and my flower storage and my straw storage and my coming soon rock storage so that's all that's what I've been up to today it snowed a little bit last night that's kind of burr making macaroni and cheese with hamburger onions and whatever else in it for supper tonight so I will get into kitchen mode here. Talk to you soon. Happy crafting. Ta-ta for now.